We are back with another Clash Perk video today. We're going to be setting up Clash Perk to show the exact same laws for both clans because Dynasty 2.0 and Dynasty Forever, we are jumping back and forth during CWL. That way we can keep track of everything that goes on between both clans. So we're going to set it up all the logs. That way they put out the exact same information in regards to the corresponding clan. But let's jump over here and show you how to get it all done. And we're going to show you how to list all of the logs that you currently have enabled for your clan in setting it up. Okay, so here we are inside of Discord. And as you can see right here, on the left-hand side, I have Dynasty 2 box and Dynasty Forever box. You can disregard the other three at the bottom. We're not going to be messing with those today. The main goal that we're going to be doing today is setting up the logs for both of these clans to ensure that we're getting the correct information whenever we're doing, you know, jumping back and forth from clans when everyone attacks. So the first thing we have to do is type slash. And the first command we're gonna be looking at right here is setup list. This is gonna give us a list of all the logs that we currently have enabled for clan. So right now being in Dynasty for Everbot, we're gonna choose that clan and get a full listing of all the logs that are available and in active right, or active right now. So right now, as you can see, any information that's put out is gonna go in a Dynasty for Everbot's channel. And the current logs that we have enabled are the Dynasty Forever bots, Clan Achievement log, we have War uh, Mr. Tax log, CWL lineup change, we have War Preference log, we also have CWL Embed log, Monthly Summary log, Name Change log, and we have War Embed log, CWL Mr. Tax, and Town Hall Upgrade log as well. If you notice across the bottom right here as well, it says Dismiss Message. This information is only gonna be available to those who are actually in the process of setting up the log. So this is limited to admins or those of you who assign roles that can access bot functions. All right, so let's jump over to the Dynasty 2 channel and see what logs we have available for it as well. So set up. First command right there, set up list. Plans, we want to choose Dynasty 2.0. Let's hit enter. See what we got. And those are all the logs that we have available. War Miss Attacks. Lineup changes for CWL, CWL embed logs, legends. So any time a legends are, are done and side of Dynasty 2 is gonna show in the channel, as you can see right here on the left-hand side, the legends summary. So all that information goes there. We got our CWL embed log. So if you notice between the both of these, that each one has their own side channel, that information is gonna be printed out to only Dynasty 4 or Dynasty 2 depending on what clan and what is going on inside of those clans. So let's go through here and let's just break down the list of what we're missing between each one of these logs. So for the Dynasty 4, we've got a clan achievements log enabled, but we do not have that log enabled for our Dynasty 2. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up for Dynasty 2.0 as well. So let's go ahead and set up. And we're gonna go to clan logs right there, set up automatic clan logs. And we're going to be working on Dynasty 2. We're going to ask, it's going to ask where we want to put it at. So channel. So we're going to go into the Dynasty 2 bot channel. So let's scroll down to the list. As you can see it. There we go. Dynasty 2 bots. And it's going to give you several more options as well. But let's go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to ask you what logs. And it shows you what logs you currently have enabled. So it's much, much easier now to set up and enable logs inside of Clash Perk than it used to be. So right now, those are the ones we have enabled. Let's go select clan logs. Those are all the ones we have, the clan achievement logs. So let's go ahead and do that. And if there are any others that we wanna do as well, we can scroll through the list. We can do clan games and bed log. We can do last scene. And let's do donations for the month as well just get an idea to track how many people or what people are donating to the clan for the entire month so let's do that so as you can see it enabled clan achievements log clan games embed log last scene embed log and monthly donation log so we want to enable a couple more as well so what ones do we want to change let's go ahead and add the town hall upgrade log and the war preference log as well so going back we got to go back one more time type setup and logs we're going to do not dynasty 2.0 again we're going to do the channel in this case is dynasty 2 
to the bot channel one more time. All right, we're going to hit enter. And we have our logs again. So let's go to select war log. So now it gives us a list of all uh, the corresponding war logs that we can enable for this clan. So we're going to do war mist attack log. We are going to do war CW bell embed log. CWL missed attacks log and also CWL lineup change log. And then we're going to go to player logs after we do this one. So now we have currently enabled CWL embed log, CWL missed attacks log, and CWL lineup change log enabled. We're going to do that for the exact same thing for the player log as well. So go back there one more time. Set up. Clan logs. Dynasty 2.0. Channel we want it to appear in, in this case, Dynasty 2. We're going to press enter. And now let's choose our player logs. So let, we've got a join log already enabled, role change. We're going to do town hall upgrade log. And we're going to do war preference log. All right, so now that we've got the town hall upgrade log enabled and the war preference log enabled, let's go back and get a full listing of all the logs that we currently have enabled for the Dynasty 2.0 clan. So again, go back to setup and we're going to go to list. We are going to go to clans. We are going to go dynasty 2.0. Press enter. And now you can see that our logs have changed and what we are currently tracking inside of this channel. So now we're tracking clan achievements log last scene. We're doing war miss CWL lineup change log war preference. And in the event that you want to add more, you go through the exact same process and it's enable the logs that you want to track inside of Clash Perk for your corresponding clan. If you have more than one clan, this is an easy way to track information across multiple clans to see how each clan is progressing, seeing how CWL is going. And all of the features that you can see here are absolutely free. There's nothing that you have to worry about paying for. So all this can be currently done with the Clash Perk bot inside of your discord. Okay, so now that we've been able to use logs for Dynasty 2, let's go ahead and get a full listing of the logs that we currently have enabled for Dynasty 4 and Dynasty 2 as well. So let's go back to setup. And we're gonna go to list. And this time we're gonna choose a little bit different. We're gonna go clans. And we're gonna go all three of these clans. Even though we're not using the Dynasty 5 clan, we still have some information enabled there. So now, as you can see right here, we've got across the bottom our Dynasty Forever. So let's scroll up just a little bit to Dynasty 2, and we can compare the logs that we have enabled for both of these clans. So right off the bat, we've got last scene. We do not have that enabled for Dynasty 4, so we're gonna have to go back and add that one. We don't have what else that we missing. We don't have the monthly log enabled. We don't have the Legends attack enabled for Dynasty 4. So we're gonna go back and enable quite a few of these logs that we don't have for Dynasty 4. That way we get a full information for our clan. So let's go to the Dynasty 4 channel. And just like before, those are the logs that we have enabled there. We're gonna do setup. Just like we did before, we're gonna go clan logs. We're this time we're gonna be choosing Dynasty Forever. We're gonna choose the channel just like a while ago. Dynasty Forever channel this time, so I gotta change the type in a little bit. All right, there's our Dynasty Forever box. So let's press enter. Go ahead and put up information. So those are the logs that are currently enabled for clans. And if we wanna do, we're gonna do monthly as well. So donation log monthly. Okay, so now that we've got the monthly donation log enabled, we're gonna go back enabling a few more logs as well. So let's go back to setup just like we did before. Set up. Clan logs, use our clan, in this case, Dynasty Forever. Channel, we gotta go back to Dynasty. For that channel, press enter. And those are all of our logs. We're gonna go to, uh, we got clan logs already. Let's go to war logs. And the war log, we're gonna do that. That, just to make sure everything is enabled. CWL embed, missed attacks, and CWL lineup. That should take care of that one. And now we got the war embed log, war missed attacks, CWL embed log, missed attacks log, and lineup changes as well. And one more time. Set up again. 
last go ahead clan logs again back to dynasty four channel and again it's easy if you don't see your channel in the list just type in the first few letters of the channel you're looking for and it will automatically just bring it up so let's hit enter and we're going to go to player log we've got join and leave log town hall upgrade log and war preference log as well press enter oops i didn't hit the wrong thing and that should take care of all of those as well it's thinking and there we go remember join log is enabled town hall upgrade of log is enabled and war preference log is enabled as well i'm not sure if we missed any so let's go back and do it one more time go to setup let's go to list plans all of these and press enter and just like that as you can see pretty much everything is in sync now we still don't have the legends attack daily summary log enabled but that's okay so as you can see everything is set up nice and neat in there monthly log everything is pretty much we did that enable the name change log by accident but that's okay uh, i'm not really worried about it too much but it is a good way if you have someone in your clan who is you know got a new account and they change your name that way it gives you an idea of what their name used to be and what their new name is now and that is just how easy it is to set up additional logs for your clans for clash of clans if you have any questions if you haven't set up the bot initially i do have a video up on how to set up clash perk for the first time, I'll leave a link down in the description and the comment section as well. If you want to go back and watch that first video, that way you know how to do the initial installation for Clash Perk bot on your Discord. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them as well as possible. And in the event that you have some that you know really need some questions answered, I'll leave a link to the Clash Perk support Discord as well. That way they can help you out if you have any trouble setting up Clash Perk for your discord anyway thanks so much for hanging out watching this video look forward to seeing you next one and always much love y'all